Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo, that's right. Coming up, apps that we don't recommend. Let's go. Now, this app is not designed for the Oculus Go at all, so I really would not bother to download it. It just won't work, unfortunately. Yes, the graphics look great. It would be fantastic to navigate, but the buttons don't work. I can't choose my location. You have to use a phone. It's simply not meant for the Oculus Go. AnyVisions is an interesting concept because basically it gives you the opportunity to uh, go within a VR setting to see some very cool um, apartments and stuff like that uh, shot by some photographers. Uh, they do have some interesting content, but the issue I have with this app is first of all, the quality of the pictures are actually not that great. They're pretty blurry and could give me a headache after some, some time. Uh, the icons that are there, uh, I don't know, they, 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 they're kind of headachey to me. Um, even though the concept is interesting, I can go to plans and I can see the plan of, you know, the architecture. If you're an architect and, and you know, you're interested in, in seeing plans and stuff like that, uh, sure, but then I have to use my head to look around. Um, I can't use my trigger. As you know, I'm not a fan of using my head and the amount of content that is on this app uh, is not, you know, is not that great. There isn't that much. So honestly speaking, I would replace all the pictures they have with much higher quality pictures. Um, you know, I would also add some atmosphere within uh, within the environment. It would be nicer. And then, you know, I would allow users to use the, the, the remote. Uh, instead of using my head left and right. I would remove these icons, which frankly are really, really annoying. Uh, but I do like the fact that they, you know, um, don't have a zoom in or zoom out or having a bright light fading from one scene to another. Uh, it's just fade out, fade in, which is very nice. Stanbo is another app that I really don't understand. Um, the video looks great. It gives you a big presentation about how you can, you know, visit all these different homes uh, built by these guys um, but at the end of the day the only thing I can do in this app is I have to use my head as well which is very annoying I can't use my trigger I can only change the flooring to wood and that's it and then I have these icons which are very hard to see with the eye which basically means I go from one place to another but I'm only limited to to this section there's no menu okay so be fearless is another app that uh, honestly I love the concept I love the fact that if you it's done by Samsung, so if you have uh, a Samsung watch, it can monitor your heartbeat and give you some analytics uh, about when you're training to do a meeting or a speech. So this is very much like uh, virtual speech, link in description below for that. And also uh, public speaking, uh, link in description below as well. Um, but you know, I was very excited about this because everything looks so clean and everything and you have level one job interview, then business lunch and team meeting, then management presentation and job fair. But then I realized that, okay, if I go to level two, for example, business lunch, I can't try any of the things because it's all locked. Okay, that's the first thing. For example, I go to level one job interview. There's only one thing that is available that is unlocked to me. Now, what's gonna happen is after I click this thing, I'm gonna be greeted by a narrator, okay? So basically when you first go into this, uh, into, into this voice, you'll, you'll hear a narrator greeting you inside. You have some people here, like so, two on my right, two on my left, with three people on the panels. Everyone's made of 3D, they're not uh, photorealistic uh, people, similar to virtual speech or uh, public speech. But, and I have to talk for a minimum of one minute, which is actually really exhausting, because when someone says, why do you want to do this job? Honestly, no one wants to hear for 60 seconds what you have to say, all right? They just need you to say a few words for 20 seconds is more than enough. Uh, I mean, for example, they're clapping, so come on. No one's gonna clap in, in, a, in an interview. I've never encountered that in a job interview in my life, okay? So and now I'm waiting. Okay, I have to wait another 10 seconds and you'll see what happens. So I passed. Now I can go to uh, next topic. Now I have to redo the, the the interview again, I have to wait another minute. So it's just not user-friendly. Right, so unless I pass that first level, 
then I only get to go to topic two. But the thing is, having a lunch business, you know, honestly speaking, is very different to a job interview. Maybe when I come into this app, I don't want to do a job interview. I want to do a team meeting, or I want to do management presentation, or I want to do business lunch. But they won't allow me to do that unless I go through job interview first. So this is why this is also one of the apps that I would not bother downloading because they're forcing me to do something that frankly, I may not want to do. And I don't find that flexible. They should unlock at least one of every level. Then it gamifies it. Then it gives me the, 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 the motivation to want to finish the other topics within the same level. All right, so we looked at uh, some apps that are definitely not worth your time. Or maybe you tried using the Gear VR and they worked in those. I, I don't know, maybe they're just not meant for the Oculus Go. Leave a comment below. So remember to like and subscribe also so more people will get to see this video and together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR as possible because that is what it's all about. Until next time, thank you again for subscribing, DJ. Take it away.